Hello, in this step 6 video we will see how we can uh, use our app source code to modify the app and extend with our own functionality or just to see where is the main functionality located and how you can modify if you want to modify something. In general we will see how we have organized our code. So let's start and uh, as explained here we are using expo.io as uh, tech, tech for the how the app is made so it's a react native app uh, based on expo expo is really the fastest way of creating a mobile app because it makes things a lot easier when you're working on with react native and there are some good things and bad things and yeah you can read about what is expo and learn more about it um, it's based on react native which in fact is a react gs uh, project so it's good that you start with some reading on how react.js works so you can even take this tutorial to to learn about the state the props and all those simple things so you can uh, take good usage of the mobile app code so let's get started and see how our uh, how our mobile app code looks so this is the folder and we have the all the the code is located in the app folder. Uh, in the package.json file, you will see all the dependencies that we require. And the starter file is app.js. So, this is the file where uh, the home screen is, the, the navigation is defined, what section it should have. And probably this is not the section, this is not the code that you want to change because. Uh, pretty much defines how it works and I think you should work in the app folder only to extend something. Uh, then the app JSON file is the file that describes the the expo app. So this is the name, the description, the slug and is it a public or private project? Where is the splash image located and things like that and the bundle identifier. <coughs> so this file is used by expo when you build your app. In the config file, there are small changes on what PayPal to use or uh, how the login screen should look, but almost everything else is inside the inside in Firebase configuration. Uh, in the app folder, so we will now look at the app folder. It has components, containers, data points, functions, images, styles, and this is a new folder we are working on. This is the UI folder. So let's start with the containers folder since that's one of the that's how we will know the complete um, complete structure of the mobile code. This is the started app. So this is one uh, news app, and as you may see, we have uh, this is more like a master screen, and we have a detail screen. And we have a, a special page like profile, or if I reload the app and open a, a different kind of app, for example, the nightclub app. This is a map screen. This is a gallery screen. This is a notification screen. Right now we don't have notifications. This is the order screen and this is also the social screen. So <coughs> even here we have like master and details and this is the basic of how our uh, mobile app code works. So we have two types of containers. We have the master details containers and the specific sections containers uh, which are the uh, master details so it's the categories details and the master screen only these three files create all of this all of this and the details and special pages like the order the notifications are specific sections and we have separated them into different folders and files so this is the e-commerce section we have card order actions, 
PayPal payments, the scanner functionality, the Shopify payments. We have the users where we can log in user, the profile section, list of users, forgot password, chats. And we have map screen, web screen, preview, review, order details, notifications, and these are all a specific section. So we have we can look at the sections that way. <clears throat> so let's say you want to modify this screen. You know that it should be in the master, right? So yeah, that's where it is. If you want to to change how it looks, but you have learned uh, that how components works and pretty much uh, uh, everything here it's a component so this is a component this is a component this is a component everything here is a component load from the components folder so probably you don't have to do anything in the master if you want to change the logic of course you can edit in the master but this is really in the components so it's uh, with this video my goal is to, to guide you where you should find the changes that you want to make so inside these containers you will be able to modify the logic but regarding presentation and how it should look you should look into the components folder now let's go in the details folder and see how that looks and know that this is the detail for every uh, master detail section that we use so this is a detail page of an event. This is a master of an album, and this is a detail of an of an album. So even this is a this is is a uh, how do I say master detail screen, and this is a specific section. If we open another app, for example, the news app. this is the master this is the details so now let's see how components works uh, let me just tell you how the details also is organized so if you go here each uh, react native component has a definition where we define the class it's a details we have a constructor we may have components did mount and another important one which is required is the render method and this render method returns a view so this view is returned from here and we have uh, called different functions for different sections for different areas of the of the details page so this is the show header image create info boxes are here they are not displayed then create the description is next so you see all of this is missing from there so that's why it's not displayed but we have we had photos in other sections okay and for example if we go in the show header image we will see what it displays so header image use component called header image and you can see where we have loaded so we have loaded from detail components header image so it's a good time now to start looking at the components folder and when we open the components folder you will see different menu different folders here we have buttons chat navigation then the one that is important is the details folder login ui navigation bar navigation icon smart icon smart row step indicator and tab bar so pretty much the name tells what's inside and the two most important are the details uh, <coughs> folder and the smart row folder so now let's go look in the details folder we said we have here everything that is displayed on this screen uh, probably it's put here maybe buttons are put in although we may have buttons down below they are put in their own folder but for example look at the header image so here is the header image 
uh, that is in the details folder because we use the header image only in the details that's why it's put it's put here so same as the details screen it has a class definition it has component will mount function and we have the render method which returns a UI view and in this case it's, a, it's an image background view together with uh, the image as a background and linear guardian so this is the image and you see this black part here this is the gradient and inside we have the text so this is how we locate the header image so if I want to remove the the gradient I will do just this and I will save it and when I go once again inside the the news app then I shouldn't have any more the, the wrap around but yeah you see this change few things because we have a style attached to it so if I want if I convert instead of guardian I convert to view and just put a style on it I should be able to get as I want yeah so this is the change we made I'll revert this back to as it was so with this we learn how we can modify a component and that's why we organize the components into different folders so it's easier for you to find what to edit for example this is the photos and let's see one app with the photos that's the nightclub app uh, probably here yeah we have the photos here and this is a component that renders those photos so in this component in the render method we have called this function the show photos and in show photos we do a scroll view with all the uh, all the photos there and you see that this component loads another component which is single image so this is also a component so if you want to modify the image directly you can modify it from here and this will uh, reload the app and you will see the changes in real time so I think that's in general how our code is organized I think you get a good understanding of that this is the main folder that you should modify the the code of the app and other so let's go shortly over the other folders the data point is just connection to the Firebase um, data database so it's a pretty simple and you shouldn't shouldn't edit it then in in functions folder we have functions that are global used across the app for example the cart functionality that is used to make purchases then once again in we have common functions here like read on around on to currency and something that is used over all the app then in the images folder you will have you will find the logo the navigation logo that is on top and some other images like the background you saw this background on the here so if you want, want to modify it's the right here then in the styles folder we have one global style that you may want to overwrite for example the you saw that the header image had a style attached to it so let me find where that style was style equals to styles that image row shadow so let's see if it's from here yeah so we have a global style and a local style in this case that it's loaded from here so you can modify it but in the global you will find also important uh, styles so details scroll it and info label payment option styles so when you look at the code you will find which uh, variable they use and you can easily modify it so it affects your need then regarding the 
Firebase configuration file. This is something that you should copy and paste from your export from Firebase and you're connected directly to your Firebase database. In general, you saw how the code is organized, so I believe you will, with this video now, you will have a better understanding and you will dip uh, faster inside the, the code and you can modify your own changes uh, easier now. Thanks for watching.